Good afternoon, and uh, this is Memorial Day, by the way. I, I hate saying Happy Memorial Happy Memorial Day, considering it's Memorial about people who lost their lives in service to our freedoms. So that one's a bit of a weird one. So anyway, welcome to episode 725. Uh, drop the defensiveness, how to consciously deal with your anger and upset. This is actually part, in a way, the answer to yesterday's broadcast. So I'll tell you more about that in a moment. Before I jump in, let me introduce myself so you know who I am and what I'm about. Uh, my name is Barry Selby, in case you haven't figured that out already. <laughs> I'm a best-selling author, inspirational speaker, and I've been a relationship attraction expert, but I'm now becoming more of a self-love mastery support expert or something. I'm still playing with that title. But basically, I help women create balance in love, life, and business because I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine. That's also what led to these talks starting over two years ago called Messages from the Masculine Inspiring Your Feminine Heart. And today, we're episode number 725. And again, the topic today, it, well, let me back up a second. Yesterday's broadcast was a question, actually, which I posted first and got over 100 different comments on, so it got a lot of uh, visibility. So I did a Facebook Live about can conscious people be angry, upset, and defensive, or should say, if you're conscious, would you be those things? That provoked some others, <laughs> some interaction. So, so then I thought, well, let me just teach something from beyond that, which is drop the defensiveness first, and how to be how to consciously deal with anger and upset because frankly some people could learn this one and uh this hopefully will help so first of all i was talking about co people who are conscious but actually defensive first but also because they're defensive they're retaliating key retaliating not responding but retaliating out of anger and upset that was also indicating they hadn't done all their work so if you've done your work or you're doing your work and you're conscious this will help you if you haven't already done this or learned this skill before so first of all, to answer the question I started with way back yesterday morning, yesterday morning um, yes, as a conscious person, you can be angry and upset. Defensiveness usually is not a conscious quality. It might be a reminder to get present, because if you're re reacting from, from defensiveness, there's a clue there. But the key thing is to come back to, okay, if there's an upset and anger inside of you that's, that's overflowing, what do you do about that? Now, this was actually in response I was talking yesterday about there are a couple of people I know about in the uh, spotlight, shall we say, in the, in the personal growth consciousness movement who have um, been challenged and accused of things and they've been acting defensive, angry and upset, which kind of basically what started this whole thing in the first place. So if you've ever been in a place and you are somebody who's done your own work and you become more conscious and aware and caring and you found yourself having to face anger and upset and not sure what to do with it, and in fact, you may have been taught by certain teachers, the best thing to do is ignore it or suppress it or simply just avoid it completely. I disagree. One thing I'm very aware of, one thing I'm passionate aware of, and so many, several people come to about this in my post yesterday, that as conscious beings, being, being angry and upset is part of the human makeup, it's part of who we are. So to deny it, to avoid it, to suppress it, to pretend it doesn't exist, isn't the answer. That's actually an un that's, that's a non-conscious or undeveloped way to deal with it. Because Pollyanna living is not the way we live life. We live life fully embracing, fully inclusive, and fully aware of it. However, the one thing you do as conscious beings is we don't use our anger and upset and defensiveness against other people. That's going back to old patterns, which are more ego-based, less conscious, less aware, less awake. Okay, I think giving you a structure to play in. So first of all, let's talk about anger first. That's the big one, so to speak. Anger does come up, and it's funny, a few people, a couple of people posted on my response to my wall about, well, Jesus got angry, he turned over the um, um, the vendor tables in the temple. Oh, that was it moneylenders? It was, it was the tradesman, he, he turned over the tables out of anger and upset, apparently, according to the Bible, which again, I've talked about the Bible before, um, that's an interesting document. So, but the bottom, bottom line was, saying, well, if Jesus can do it, anybody can be upset and angry. Well, yes, and. First of all, you, that was a hearsay story, so I'm not going to get into too much detail, but the reality is that as a human being, if you are dealing with this, don't panic, <laughs> first of all. Don't get upset, even more so with yourself, they are getting angry. You know, it's like if you've done all the meditation, you went to a Vipassana retreat, or you've been living in the mountains, meditating and oming for the last 20 years, and something happens, like you drive on the freeway, someone cuts you up in traffic, you get angry, don't deny all the 20 years of work you've done beforehand. We do get triggered as part of the human experience. So again, let me answer the question I started with. How do you deal with the anger? First of all, there's two types of anger. Yes, anger comes in types. And I'm speaking in terms of how they're expressed, not necessarily what triggers them, but how they're expressed. One of them is called constructive anger, 
One of them is called destructive anger, kind of obvious. And the reason I'm saying it that way is because there's anger that is used to hurt or wound ourselves or others, or anger that is used towards a solution that is positive and uplifting. And this is the thing. There are both sides of the coin here. When you have anger, it's really, in a way, it's like having... Um, <laughs> Well, I don't know what I'm using as an analogy. I was thinking of analogies. I went with a flamethrower. That was an interesting analogy. But anger is, in, in a way, is like um, a sharp knife. It can be used to cut vegetables, to prepare a meal, or it can be used to hurt somebody or yourself. So anger itself isn't the danger. It's how you use it that can be dangerous, so to speak. So, neg so uh, destructive anger is one that knocks things down, hurts people, hurts yourself. Um, creates wounds and trauma in yourself or other people. That's destructive. Constructive anger is one where either you use the anger to express the energy somewhere safe, so you go go, go to the, and hit the boxing bag, or you go and chop wood, or you go, out to, go, you go and yell in the forest, or something like that. Those are ways to vent anger in a positive way. Now, women who have got so much suppressed anger from what they've been through, and the stories I keep hearing just stuns me, but one of the things that, w that I recommend people who are at home, and women especially, have this um, availability because, as unlike men, they don't have necessarily the permission from society to go yelling and screaming and not think there's something wrong with them. It's like men can get away with a lot of stuff that women can't, unfortunately. So women, here's a tip for you especially, but men, you can do this one too. If you are at home and you can't like go to the country or go to the gym and do something quickly, what you can do, if you have anger to express, is one, you could yell into a pillow so if you need to vent it out verbally and yell it out, a pillow is a very usable, doesn't take offense. And also a closet full of clothes. And ladies, most women I know do have, do have a closet full of clothes. And I'm, I know I'm being typecast, typecasting here. But if you basically get into a closet where your clothes are all packed together, cloth is a great sound absorber. And if you want to vent your anger, but you're living in an apartment with neighbors, sometimes having some means to express it without waking everybody up is a good thing. So that's a way of expressing the anger in a positive way in the sense that it's not destructive. There's also things you can use anger as a positive influence. If you feel like there's a societal change that needs to be made because you feel so upset with the way things are being done that you need to stand up and do something about it. But rather than battle the people who did that to the society or to you, it's use your anger constructively to create a change. Maybe it's a grassroots movement or maybe it's a new bill that votes a new thing into law that changes the laws. Who knows? So there are ways to use anger constructively. So that's giving you a, a sort of a range from mechanical to expressive and in between. And let's get back to the upset piece. Because upset is a spectrum of things. Upset can be resentment, it can be hurt feelings, it can be feeling fearful or depressed or anything like that. There's a whole range of emotions in there. Upset feelings are, as I mentioned about, actually this was, let me rewind a second, this was three, four days ago. I talked about how pain is a messenger, actually it was almost a week ago. That was a great talk, by the way. If you, if you want to know about how pain can be used as a messenger, because it is a messenger, I know somebody going to what? Watch my broadcast from, it was earlier in the week, so it's about, this is 7.25, so it's about 7.18, 7.19, somewhere around there. Upset, same thing. Upset feelings are messages and indicators that something's out of alignment. If everything's going along fine and you feel great, there's no ripples and no upset, no um, disturbance in the force, so to speak. However, if you are feeling upset, discord inside, that's an indication that something's out of alignment. And if it's something you know exactly what it's about, um, hi, Jermaine, I see my broadcast, let's see what you're saying here. By the way, this is a Facebook Live first, which I'm responding to comments on the screen, which you can't see if you're watching on YouTube, so just bear with me. So Jermaine, yes, anger for the disrespect of the Father's house. Definitely anger can have many angles or avenues of where and how it is directed. Thank you for summarizing my words in a very nice way, so thank you for that. Um, so upset as a messenger when you have dis a disturbance in the forces I called it when you're, at, when you're feeling something that's discord, upset painful feelings that, that aren't necessarily anger but something else those are indicators again those are messages, indicators, reminders of something's out of alignment the question then is what do you do with it do you carry that upset around and just walk around with this grey cloud over your head like uh, was it Linus in Peanuts or some other thing or do you basically um do something we can in, look at your, look in the mirror and go, okay, so what is upsetting me? What am I letting upset myself? Maybe it's something somebody else did or said, in which case maybe you want to communicate something politely back to them that you could have changed that. 
Maybe it's something you need to do some self-forgiveness work yourself because you've got judgments that are running that are rubbing up against your comfort zone. Because judgments are interesting um, thinking processes, thought processes. So I'm not going to give a whole forgiveness teaching here because if you know how to do forgiveness, you can know how to do it already. I do have some practical steps you can take. And I, if you want to get more information, I'll put a contact form in the, sh in the comments. You can reach out to me and ask for those and I'll send you the link or I'll send you the um, PDFs that have the forgiveness practices in them. So that's a shortcut. Um, hi, Linda. Just a quick peek, working on a talk for tonight. Okay, well, thank you for peeking in. Um, <laughs> a quick talk on a Monday night. This is, well, if you're in America, this is Memorial Day, so I think a talk tonight, interesting, okay. Um, so let me finish up this, this piece, please. Thank you for jumping in, by the way. This topic of upset is something that a lot of people don't deal with. For many people, they're carrying this wound inside, almost like it's a pearl inside of a, an oyster, except it's not pretty. And it's a place that is suppressed and repressed inside because people are often unable to figure out how to deal with it without thinking it's going to hurt somebody else, which is a, a conscious thinking, which is good. But there's actually another solution, which again is forgiveness, which is dialoguing, which is working it out, which is parts integration, which is um, giving the feelings a voice. That's part of the work I do in my coaching. There's lots of different ways you can deal with it. But the main thing I want to say as a bottom line for this piece is that if you are a conscious being, person, individual, having anger and upset show up is okay. Doing something effective, positive, holistic with them is ideal because they can run you or you can run them, choice point. Again, if you're being defensive, you're not being conscious. So that's good of like answering a lot of questions from yesterday's broadcast. So I want to make this very clear and succinct to say you can be conscious and have feelings. It's okay. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this is the truth that we forget about is that when we're, when we're awake and aware, suddenly we don't have feelings anymore? No. If you look at all the people who are doing the real deep work, they have upset feelings as well, but they own them. They take care of them and they take responsibility. And this is the big work. When you really are doing conscious work, you must be taking responsibility for your own feelings, your own thoughts, your own interactions. And if you're doing that, you're on the path. All right, I'm coming this short because I've actually got a friend coming over because we're going to a, a friend's uh, pool party tonight. Well, it'll be a, a jam music party as well. So I'm going to go play. I um, want to give this broadcast out quick so you can see it, respond to it, have your thoughts. So any thoughts, questions, please put in below and I respond when I sign off. Um, this will be on Facebook Live, sorry, on my Facebook page for replay and on YouTube. I'll give you the links for that in a second. Again, I'll put a link in the comments for the contact form if you want to reach out for support or if you want to get the information about the forgiveness sheets, let me know. Um, so this is my daily Facebook Live, 5 p.m. Pacific time every day on my personal page on Facebook which is Barry Selby's my page, my personal page. My business page on Facebook is barryselby.author. And then the replays which are there also on my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby, please subscribe to that. And there's a playlist on that page, on that channel called Messages from the Masculines. So you can find them all in YouTube format or a Facebook format, your choice. Again, if you have thoughts, questions, you want to reach out, link will be in the comments. If you want to get more um, information about what I said yesterday, the replays are on my business page and on my personal page. And again, there was a broadcast about a week ago, six, seven days ago, about how pain is a messenger. I highly recommend you watch that. If that's a question, you go, huh? How does that messenger? Um, as always, I'm here to support you, to inspire, to serve, and to give you some good guidance. Thank you for watching, and thanks for being with me as always. I'll be back in tomorrow, same time, 5 p.m. Pacific time, right here on this channel. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye.